I, yeah. What's it called? Yeah, Umbra, Umbra is like cosplaying as Walter Wright, White now. He's the danger now. Yeah. Nah, I mean, I don't know. It's just something that's been happening a lot, apparently. I haven't actually been playing too much since the patch, but yeah, I've heard a lot of people talk about uh, desyncs constantly happening, which is unfortunate. So. <laughs> Alright. Well. Getting into game one. Like we said, like we saw before, Blue's definitely a very nutty pap. That was a very good uh, cross under there by Blue. Not sure if it was by his doing or Umbra's, but either way, reaping the benefits from it. Running off fence, getting some apple there. And, alright, good patience by Umbra there. Yep. Oh! A good block on the cross canter. That was very important block. I think that was probably just a very inopportune time to CC, because Umbra was in the air. And Dombra is just responding back here. All right, Blue's out of the corner. Another season. Ooh, good cross canter. Yeah, there's the TP. Another CC. Okay, very low on life here. All right, nice ball. Can't really take much chip, yeah. so he's yeah. I can understand some of the crazy decisions because he actually can't take any more chip. Yeah, I. I feel like that third, uh, what's it called, CC was a bit ambitious, though. I maybe would have saved that for the second round. Although, Pap does get lots of meters, so... Probably will have it back by the time they need it. Okay, very good, uh, knowledge there to make sure they got the confirm off the cinnamon roll. The apple? Yeah. Wow, okay, nice there. Jumped back, because... Umbra's options were very limited sitting on the apple, and then the smite was able to get catch him. Blue putting him right back in the corner, though. Apple's still there. And just another Two one. Apples now. All the apples. I guess that, that was probably going to time out soon anyway. Yeah, so. I think I saw it this way. Um, in any case, then we got a pot. Oh, okay, rolls out. Did not want to deal with blocking the pot in the corner. Ooh, nice throw tech there. Oh, what? Right back? <laughs> that was actually really funny, wow. Oh, wow, that JC did not hit. Yeah, is, I feel is like... Is it worth? Yeah, Umbra had to have known that the Tele-C was coming. But still gets the the overhead. That wasn't even... That was the that first was a hit, actually, hit. So it got the frame trap. That was a yeah. counter hit, yeah. Umbra tried oh, yeah. to challenge off of the card A. Yeah, it's a, there was a frame trap in there. It is uh, understandable they tried to mash, but it is a 50-50 there. Yeah. Oh! This Rekka went the wrong way. And this is going to be probably into Fred. Nope. Drop. And Umbra is just throwing out so many smites. Yeah, Blue's jumping a lot, and that they're kind of just jumping into all of Umbra's butt. Here comes Fred. All right, you know Blue's probably gonna do something crazy, yeah. That's not gonna work, yeah. And this should be the round. Yeah. All right, Umbra takes the first game. Yeah, like I, that's kind of the, pr like, I can understand wanting to challenge Fred because that's like probably the best way to deal with him. Because if you don't deal, if you don't hit Ollie, you just have to hold 50-50. You, you're gonna hold for, a lot of mix, and yeah. if you get opened up eventually, it's gonna be a lot of damage. Yeah. But like the problem is that like blue is blue, so it was really obvious they were gonna go for something like super risky, like a teleport or a super. And so Umbra just kind of like pressed a Fred button and then waited and punished both the times. So, either way, yeah, that was Umbra taking game one. But apparently, both these players are DQ'd, though. Yeah, that's fine. Round one. Fight. All right, Brock on the ground. Lots of push blocks, and 
Yeah, it catches him with the JC. This should be big damage. Okay, well, out of the corner. Caught him with the frame trap again. Wow, Umbra is just mashing. Holy cow. He is not respecting these frame traps at all. And taking the ma uh, the magic. That wow, was a very oh, was... funky record hit. Yeah. Oh, got caught by the the epilogue too. That's gonna be a lot of meter steal. In addition to Umbra getting him in the corner. Well, now he's not in the corner, he's but block the cross cancer again. Yeah. I think this is gonna be death. Oh no, not quite. Oh, right into the wrecker. Yeah. That was a, a weird air hit, so... You can jump cancel the cart, but you have to react very quickly to the fact you got an air hit. Yeah. Nah, like, Blue keeps doing these cross canters while Umbra's in the air, and I don't think that's very good, just because... You can land, like, yeah, they'll land. They'll, like, land, and it's very easy for them to just not go for an option. Right. I think actually, well, can you uh, can you press buttons when you're in pre-block? Um, they don't do well. Yeah, you can. You can. Okay. Oh. Not all. Uh, yeah, I was wondering how it was with Two Face. Some games don't let you. Gets the hit into Fred. All right, Blue, don't go for the... Okay, it actually worked, all right. Okay, probably cancel into level two, yeah. He wants to, yeah, this combo to go as damage. long as possible. Right. Oh, there it is, perfect reversal option, Fred. 1D covers so much space. Oh, wow. wow. The low profiled Oleander with his 2A. Yeah. Oh. Blue, please. He's committed completely. <laughs> He's getting like caught by these fireballs with these teleports. Oh, he took the apple. Took another one. Getting the He's keeping in. his health up. Ah, uh, but no, that's. Oh, good. that's it. And Umbra takes it 2-0. Yeah, that, like, the one like one sort of flaw that Ollie's JB has is that it does only have three uh, active frames, which means right. that either like. You kind of, I feel like you kind of have to commit whether you're going to do it to hit, uh, and like if you're going to hit standing opponents, you kind of have to do it a bit earlier, and if you want to hit crouching opponents, you have to do it a bit later because it's kind of hard to hit both of them, you know? Yeah. But. So um, yeah, Hyperhiko and Java Mars are playing their set, so uh, we'll see them uh, later. But for now, let's have Bicaf and uh, Oscar Glaze.